Hello, everyone. This is Toby. The USB 2000 Plus Micro Spectrometer was introduced last time. Today, we will talk about Hamamatsu C12880MA Microspectrometer. It is a highly sensitive, ultra compact spectrometer probe with spectral response ranging from 340 to 850 nanometers, 20.1 millimeters in length, 12.5 millimeters in width, and 10.1 millimeters in height. Compared it with Ocean Optics USB 2000 Plus, we can see it is quite small. The entrance is a circular hole with a CMOS linear array image sensor with a slit. The bottom is provided with 10 pins, which can be installed and integrated into various mobile measuring devices. This is the schematic diagram of its internal structure. The light enters from a small hole, incident on the concave grating. The concave grating splits the light and focuses the image on the detector surface. Let's see its imaging effect. This is a program interface developed by ourselves. Select the corresponding port for measurement. This is the measured spectrum of mercury lamp. The light source have been introduced last video. We can see the wavelength corresponding to these peaks by copying the spectral data. The data acquisition density of our program is 1 nanometers, so we see the wavelength of integer bits. The specific wavelength of these peaks is 365 nanometers, 404 nanometers, 435 nanometers, 546 nanometers. From these spectrums, we can see that Hamamatsu is relatively accurate when measuring the spectrum of mercury lamps, but in the 600 to 740 nanometers band, several peaks are not shown. Next, let's take a look at the resolution of the spectrometer with a laser light source. This is a 451 nanometers laser light source. We stop refreshing it to stand still. It peaked around 17,500. Let's calculate the half width of the full maxi around this peak. Magnify the spectrum, and we can see the wavelength of the left half peak is 445 nanometers, and the right half peak is 456 nanometers, so its half peak width is 11 nanometers. This means the resolution of the spectrometer at 451 nanometer is 11 nanometer. Then let's look at 532 and 663 nanometers laser spectra in same way. It peaked around 16,200 and let's calculate the half width of full maxima around this peak. The left side of the half peak corresponds to 527 nanometer and the right side corresponds to 537 nanometer. So the resolution of the spectrometer at 532 nanometers is 10 nanometers. This is a 633 nanometers laser source. It peaked around 17,000, and let's calculate the half width of full maxi around this peak. The left side of the half peak corresponds to 657 nanometer, and the right side corresponds to 668 nanometer. So the resolution of the spectrometer at 663 nanometer is 11 nanometer. It can be seen that Hamamatsu shrinks the volume at the expense of a certain resolution. This is the spectrum of standard A light source, which also shows a first rising and then falling trend. We said before that the Ocean USB 2000 has not been irradiated and corrected. Therefore, its A light source spectral line will be different from that given by CIE. By comparison, the peak wavelength of the A source in the ocean is around 610 nanometers, while in the Hamamatsu it is around 680 nanometers. So Hamamatsu should have done irradiation correction. But it may not be accurate enough, so the 400 to 640 nanometers band is up and down rapidly after 720 nanometers. Some guys have mentioned before that there will be a difference between instruments of this spectrometer. That is the difference between the stations. We have prepared two Hamamatsu 12880 spectrometers, which will be verified by the white light emitted by the iPhone. This is the first measured spectrum, and three raised peaks can be observed. We saved a frame of data and look at the positions of the three peaks in turn. 468 nanometers, 533 nanometers, 628 nanometers. Let's see the position of the three peaks of the second one. 462 nanometers, 527 nanometers, 621 nanometers. The obvious difference between the two spectrometers can be seen. We call up the spectral data to compare the intensity of the three peaks. After domestication, it can be seen that the radiation difference between the two instruments is about 13%, so the difference between stations is relatively large. 
All above is the introduction of Hamamatsu C12880 spectrometer. See you next time.